Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat Core Chrome Part 42. We've got Talladega and Dover in this part, and obviously, uh, we got the uh, short track chassis. So, whenever we actually go to one, we can actually have a chassis for it. So, we unlocked that. All of our money pretty much went out the window there. Now, we just got to just train our employees just, just a little bit more, so they're at like 10 or 11, but that's still a, a hefty amount. Obviously, because we have enough for, you know, aero and suspension for the time being an engine. We just need, like, 100,000 or some crazy amount and everything. So, we we still got a little bit of a ways to go just to improve their caps. But it's still, uh, we're still not quite all the way there. So, that may be our next goal. And then maybe after we get those up to at least 10, then we could start putting this up to 85. I don't know, but obviously I'm just going with... The, the employees first just because the uh, upgrade department is so much more than that so I feel like that'll be quicker I'm sure that's wrong I just backed out of career mode <laughs> okay after that just blunder uh, settings uh, same as usual I'm gonna try to keep them at like the way they've been for, for now until well, we got Dega so we gotta put the track partners on enabled everything else yeah we're good on that so and I know I got a comment, somebody making fun of me because I had the, few, uh, the spread on wide for Daytona. But I'm only doing that because you never freaking know. Maybe that will save my ass from running last. I I don't know, but that's my reasoning. So let's get into qualifying. Not really qualifying. It's, we'll just do a last to first challenge because we're going to be last if we qualify either way, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're just going to skip qualifying. We're going to have our slider set just to five. We're not even going to make a custom setup and adjust it. Because when we did that Daytona, that was maybe like the worst track of the season, minus Phoenix, in terms of difficulty. So I'm hoping if we just keep it like five on the slider right down the middle and then just adjust the tire pressures under the race, maybe that'll make us perform a little bit better. I don't know. It just didn't really fare out well for us at Daytona, which sucked. But Ryan Sieg on the pole and Barcelona failed technical qualifying inspection that's a that does not exist but I, that's a hell of a word i don't know why garrett smith gave up spots for tires at talladega where it means nothing so go figure all right here we go and we got cars behind me so at the very least we should have some help so we don't just fall back to last and be a by ourselves for like forever in this stage we actually kind of got to a decent start car went through the, the gears there okay so now we just gotta see what this car is capable of. Again, the payout's still pretty decent. I remember, it's like still over 100,000, so we, I do definitely want to finish well. It'd obviously, it'd be good for the playoff stuff. If we even get that far, I have no idea. But okay, it seemed like we got through that, the gears pretty well, and we're still with the pack. So that's uh, that's cool, and did Bar Baccarella, Barcelona's helping me. So yay, we're gonna not run last this entire stage and do stuff in it, too. That's even better. The inside of Casgrala and Bar Baccarella. <laughs> I'm almost saying Barcelona. Barcelona sounds pretty more badass, but Baccarella sounds even more badass or two. Oh God! Look at Shad Fincham go. He just just drove right through it. <laughs> he just like stuck it on the bottom, and poor Sadler had nowhere to go and he gave up. And I'm losing all talent driving apparently. But look at that, 27th. That's already almost better than what we did at Daytona, and we haven't even put in the proper tire adjustments to make it faster. This is going to be a good day. This is going to be a good day. I can feel it. Chad Fincham with, with the push. And, I don't know, all right. We've actually gained a couple spots from that. My, I, can we give a shout-out to Mike Harmon? John Jackson, are you okay? Dude, I don't know. Midlife crisis, man. <laughs> he really wanted to, to door me there. But I want to give a shout-out to Mike Harmon. Look at him go in the top 20. I, I don't recall that ever really happening much for him. But good for him. Maybe he can get a top 10. So it is Talladega, any, any, anything's possible. Damn, we just got to the inside of Ross Chastain, this is four wide. Thankfully we're at Talladega, not Daytona, the track's a little bit wider, so we can able to pull those kind of moves out. Well, as long as we don't hit the apron and go up the track, dude, that was pretty sad. But Chad Fincham low-key is helping us get through the field. That was a hell of a bump, too, but that, that kind of hurt. This is absolutely illegal, by the way, we're not supposed to lock bumpers. But, yeah, whatever, you know, this, this is probably... This is one of the few times where not implementing the rules is probably better. <laughs> That rule is so stupid, by the way. Since 2013. Uh, 2013 at Talladega, they had that rule. All because of the Larson incident at Daytona. Even though they weren't locking bumpers, it was just a really insane freak accident. But none of this just knee-jerk knee -jerk reaction. 
Not only that, but they also, like, uh, that was, like, the first year, too, where they were taking down videos on YouTube from anybody that was uploading NASCAR stuff uh, right after the incident. So that was the thing, too. That's where it all began, too. It's, it's, uh, they were really wrong. YouTube's butt for that whole thing back then. I remember I was there. I was there. It was, it was kind of a shitty time. I didn't even notice this was the last lap of the stage, and we we're almost gonna get stage points. It looks like Greg Golding's gonna get it, win the stage. That's that's strange, but again, it's a restricted plate. And eleventh. No. Nope. Okay. Ryan C. trod the last spots though, but I'll take twelfth. That was a hell of a run too. Now we just gotta make tire just pressure adjustments and start getting on that because we're not gonna put all those in on time, so I gotta really haul ass on this. I couldn't put them in all the way because time's gonna run out. So that's 50, 50, and 35, and 50, something like that. But that should be good. We should be able to get that in stage two. And we didn't lose spots. Hooray! Good job, pit crew. Stage two should be more of the same, though we are, again, higher up in the field, so we should run a little bit better. Maybe we get stage points. But I'm so proud of this car. Who would have thought that? Just putting it on the, just the default slider thing was better than actually putting in an adjustment. I don't know. Who knows? Probably the custom setups the adjustments were weird. We just got to the inside right away. This is going to be a good... Oh, it, God damn it, the inside line is stacked up. However, we got cars behind me, so there's no way I can lose the pack. Thank you, Michael Annette, for the shove. Good lord. <laughs> he really wanted to help me. Damn. He, he checked up because of that. I don't blame him. I mean, he gave me a, a whale of a shot. Look at us right up here with the pack. Oh, no. Sindra's going to push me. Please... Please be kind. I really don't want to wreck. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Oh, it's actually a very gentle push. Thank you. Josh Williams kind of got out of line there. But look at us go. 197, 198. Can we crack 200 miles an hour in this? Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did in this shit box of a car. All right. Look at us. Up the top. I I'll be totally fine with the top five. I'm, I'm like, I don't even care. If I was leading, I wouldn't care. If I was in second, I wouldn't care. Equality. I don't care. <laughs> Two to go on the stage, and Tommy Joe is trying very hard to get by Chris Rebell, and I'm trying to get the draft to him, but it's just... The car just... We're in stage can end. That makes things easier. Well, well, got stage points, though. That's cool. Um, well, we'll get to see what we can do in the last stage, and we will have to pit at least once under green, so there's that. 50 on all the tires, four tires and fuel and all that good stuff, and we only lost oh, no spots. I'm totally fine with that. I probably could have cheesed it and uh, just took right sides. I wanted to play it safe. So we got 16 to go and 8 in the fuel. Wow, this is going to be whew, that's going to be one stop, but barely. And why are we having such a good restart? I mean, I'll take it. I wasn't really expecting that. Alright, well, um, no way we're going to hold the lead, but this is cool for the time being. Okay, there's no way I can block three lanes. Good lord, that was like bad timing all around. At least uh, Bill Wiki's pushing me in that Dr. Sasquatch card. I've seen those commercials on YouTube, like when the ads and stuff play. It's like pretty good stuff. I, I think it's funny. It's pretty clever, too. Hopefully their products are good. I don't really know. Why are we four wide? Well, thankfully, ping-ponging isn't a thing, so we're able to kind of make this build with you. I will give you that. That is a hell of a... That's very ambitious of you, but... I mean, we have a push, and they don't on the bottom, so... We might be good. I mean, this is... This is nice to, to actually, like, do stuff on the outside, even. No, Gregson just gave up a nap. He just said, fuck that. Okay, now we can get to the bottom. And Jeffrey Earnhardt. Oh my god, he's gonna use lessons learned from his actual father. Wait. No, wait. Yeah, no, I'm right. I'm right. I'm, I'm, I'm right. Okay. Jeffrey? Please? Wait, no. I'm thinking of Carrie Earnhardt. What is wrong with me? <laughs> wrong Earnhardt. No, I'm, I'm thinking that's Carrie. Why am I thinking it's Carrie Earnhardt? Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god. He just... <gasps> That was the bump and run at Daytona. Get to the bottom, okay. I don't even care if I lead anymore. I just don't want to lose the bottom lane. That, that's, all, that's all I want. What am I doing? What's wrong? <gasps> Bill Wickie just trying to kill me. Oh my god. 
That could have been disaster. Ow. Okay, finally we can get to the inside line here. We dropped a lot there. But again, I mean, we did it once. We can certainly do it before. Right be oh god, my back end just got beat up because of that. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is just, just fuel. I just don't think we can make it. it I think it'll be very, very close. So we're at five now. Will it go down to four or did it already go down? I don't know. But we're making our way through the field again, which is good. Just don't know how this is all going to play out. Because... Yeah, it went down to four there, so... Ooh, I don't know. That's going to be close. We might run out of fuel, like, on the white flag. On the back straightaway. Possibly, I don't know. I don't know how much fuel is going to be in the reserve when we get zero. But usually, there's, like, a buffer time for that. But not always. We are going 201, by the way. That is pretty cool. D d d 203, 202 for a split second there. But that was, that was cool. There we go. We'll crack ourselves up into the top five and... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised how well we're doing. I wasn't sure if the car would have that much in it based on just how Daytona went. So I guess it was just the setup, the, the custom default setup thing just was terrible. Because the car is not much different than what it was back then. Which, man, we could have gotten so much more money out of that race too. It would have helped so much. But no. But, I mean, we're second right now and we'll be pitting in the next couple laps, so... And we'll see how it goes. I don't even know if I can stretch it an extra lap or, or what. I don't know if it's even worth it. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. Damn, Justin Haley just pushed me to the lead. I appreciate it. I don't know how long we can hold it, but thank you. Well, I tried to hang on to the lead there, but it didn't work out. Our fuel went down to one halfway down the back straightaway, so... It's going to be a big gamble, but we're going to try to stay out this extra lap just to just to confirm we can make it on fuel. That's my idea. It may be a bad idea, but it's worth a shot just to stay out on track one extra lap longer. So I don't know how I'm going to do this, or well, I'm not really saving fuel, am I? So I don't know. I probably should get to the inside line, though, just in case, so I can actually get down to pit road right away. Cedric, I'm sorry. <laughs> you did hit me. All right. So let's... Oh god, the poor frames. Um, I don't know when it'll hit zero. Should be halfway down the back street. But again, this track's long, so I don't know if that's a great idea. But it's going to be close. Uh, okay, it went a tiny bit longer than it did last time. Alright. Uh, okay. I guess it was a good idea. I wasn't sure. There they all go down pit road. We'll do the same. The brakes slow down. Oh my, that's actually a really good entry. Uh, 55. Perfect. Perfect! Alright, we're just going to put right sides on and full tank of fuel because it is an entire fuel run. So we'll do all that and we'll be out in the way. And hopefully we cycle out in front of everybody. 12.2 second stop for just rights. Alright, we're on the way. Well, that was almost an entire four stop thing on, well, we had a back during fuel too. So. Okay, there, um, I actually didn't even repair the damage in the back, so... That sucks, but we're, we cycled out in front of everybody, so we should be first. And I think we'll be good on fuel, too, because we have six to go. And eight. I think we're good, actually. This may have worked out perfectly for ourselves. There goes Ross Chastain. There goes the uh, one of Stephen Line. I'm, I'm thinking they'll likely cycle out into the lead. Again, I could have been a dick and blocked them, but I just want to try to win this in a very you know, old-fashioned, respectful way. I don't want to block everyone. We are going to need help here eventually, because we are running out of laps, and we do have a couple of cars behind us. Hopefully this doesn't screw us by me being nice. Christopher Bell, <laughs> Christopher Bell just ran himself out of fuel. What an absolute dumbass. <laughs> he just lost the race because of that. Oh my god, he's sputtering. <laughs> oh my god, Christopher Bell. Drip for him, but at least the pack behind me is catching me, so at least we'll have some crafting help here eventually. There they go, we got BJ McLeod. Okay, that's a cheeky block. That's a pretty cheeky block for one car that's just, okay. Okay, we got Ray Black that's gonna push me. So yay, we're gonna get help to the front. Thank you, Ray Black, I appreciate it. And hopefully we can get up there. I think it's, it, it has to be enough time because they're 2.5 seconds back and Chastain has no help. He's just by himself. Why? That was gonna play out so like beautifully organic and it just couldn't. Now we're going to have a green-white checkered, and now... Oh, God damn it. 
We were catching them too, like a couple tents there, and it would have been enough. Well, we're staying out, obviously. Yeah, well, not really green white checkered, but at least we'll be up here with the pack. I mean, I didn't really. Uh, I just didn't want that to happen. Well, I think we may have three to go, or maybe. Is it just a green white checkered? Like a scheduled green white checkered? Or. Uh, what is it? Okay. Scheduled green white checkered. I think. Well. Let's see what we can do here. I don't really know if we even have the card to win, to be honest. But I'm going to try. We're going to push Ross Chastain as Austin Hill's leading. That's weird. I want to get to the bottom right away. Thank you. All right. I mean, it does seem like we have a car that's good enough to, at the very least, have the lead for... Like, we're, we're able to pass, but we just can't maintain the lead because the car just... Once it gets out front, it just dogs so badly. It doesn't really help, too, that nobody's helping me, either. Uh, it's Stephen Light? Okay. Well, we're gonna try something. I don't know if we have what it takes to win. I just need somebody push me, though. Chase Briscoe, can you please do that, or... Oh, oh, we gotta run. Oh, we may have a chance to have this after all. Oh, God damn it! Oh, 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 how... Okay, we're draft partners. Um... Well, I wanna try to get by him. Oh, we did. Ooh, we have a chance. We have a chance. <laughs> All right, we just gotta get a perfect run on him at like the right time. Can Baccarella help me? Frames, don't don't die on me now. Uh, can I get to him in turn three? Nope. Damn it. Oh, that might have been it. Now why is Austin Hill my draft partner? Oh, Bar Bar Baccarella, please, please, I need the help. Please, I don't have enough. Please, I need the I need the push. Oh, he did. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, dude. it's gonna be too little, too late. Boo. That's. Oh. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. I. I just didn't have enough at the. No idea what that Kasha came out for because it was with like five to go. So. No idea. Thanks, game. Well, finishing results time. Austin Hill with the win. The top ten is pretty weird. We got Baccarello, we got ourselves up there too, Ray Black, um, Stephen Light, Vinny Miller, Mike Harmon 12th. But yeah, I don't know what brought out the uh, yellow there, but poor old Greg Galding got screwed as well as Christopher Bell. I guess he kind of screwed himself because he ran himself out of fuel, but we will get a good chunk, 114,000. I think that's a total of over 132, roughly. Yeah, 134, all right, nice. Good merch payout, that was a good day. We got a lot of money. Oh, we got the fastest lap, that's cool. We did lead some laps, but I don't think we got the most laps led. No, no, we didn't. And we did not get the on the move. Skeezer Baccarella had better comeback than I did. That's, that's insane. I think by one spot too, because he was 38 to the third, and I was like 36 to the second. So that was a, actually a pretty close battle for the biggest mover. I'm sure our race wear and stuff shouldn't be too good. Yeah, it's moderate, because that back bumper damage from the bump drafting. God, God damn it. Well... Uh, Nick Robin gaining clean reputation. Multiple drivers praised Nick Robin. Well, that's nice. Thank you, Field. I don't have any rivals, amazingly, so that's cool. Hey, cool. C Cruster. Custer has something to say. Great race today. Hopefully this is a sign for things to come. Thank you. Oh, Zane Smith, that's somebody new. Well, what does he have to say? Hey, you know you've really been in control these last few races. No damage or careless driving at all. Keep it up. Man. That that, that was that was bad. I'm gonna insult you. Man, get, get, get better at making videos. Uh, Chad Fincham, uh, thank you. Uh, Zane Smith again. Thank you for not only sending me a video message, but also an actual tweet, too. Uh, it was amazing. That was amazing. Thank you, Timmy Hill. Justin Haley, that's so so nice. Mike Harmon, that's I, I feel I feel the love. Uh, no, we're not going pool party. No, so many drivers continue to hit on me. As usual, uh, the best. We're going fishing. Yeah, well, you know, it, we'll do that. Uh, I dropped my remote. Ow! At least it wasn't. It didn't break anything. Thank you, Elias Sattler. Can you retire yet? Ray Black. No, I gotta insult you. That you just can't tell me. Keep up the good work. That's that's so lame. That's so lame. Just like your 
profile picture in the, in the game. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump them up in terms of their like training stuff just a little bit. Because if I do it all at once, it gets more expensive. So it almost seems like it's better just to go up one at a time. I mean, usually I don't have the patience for something like that. So I'm just going to do it very like incrementally if I can. As long as we're not like breaking the bank. So we'll put them up to eight. Again, these are for second races and stuff so it's not too important yet because our ratings aren't that high but it's good to get them up a little bit because it's not like we were gonna have money enough anyways to get apart so we're just gonna go with all that for now again we still need uh, uh 180,000 just to get everything up to 85 and we'll up the accuracy too to you know out of that as well at some point but we just gotta get everything ready for that but first and foremost we gotta get ready for dover uh, we have everything pretty much ready to go I just gotta disable the draft partners. Everything else looks good to me. And yeah, that'll do it. So we'll just jump right into qualifying. Hopefully we'll have a good start. Try to do well. So we'll go from there and try to do good stuff. Yeah, I just wanna show this. So our Speedway stuff at the moment, it's not amazing. We got everything pretty much maxed out except for suspension but everything else should be pretty good we should at least have a top 20 car maybe i don't know something something that's not trash that's all i'm worried about off turn four car felt fine in terms of handling and we're not really gonna get our gold time we're about six tenths off of that 25th that's that's okay but yeah we'll see what we can do on the race trim obviously we should be better in the long run just as their tires fall off we should be able to, to do stuff but i don't think we're going to be running dead last so yeah all right see second i'm surprised how well he's qualifying this part but yeah uh 23rd did we gain three spots in qualifying that's i'm not used to that no because we were 25th that was only two spots cole custer and retaliate okay two fast cars going to the back well, then we'll be on the inside line, and we'll see how that goes, but obviously, like usual, like a lot of these stages, it just kind of clear-cut, just, you know, stops after the stages and all that stuff, and, uh, should be about 10 laps here. Yeah, 10 laps, that was right. So now we'll see how long it takes for the tires to kick in. It might be, like, 8 or 9 laps, conveniently right at the end of the stage, so it's not really gonna, not gonna see the true potential of the car until then. At the very least, we should have like I'm expecting a lot of races this season. I said like top 20. <gasps> oh my god, that was close. Like 19th to 24th. I feel like that's fair of a goal to get at this rate. So that's what we're trying to get. And so far we're doing just that. Well, we're still 22nd. Uh, Mike Harmon's trying really hard to get around me on the outside. We're kind of just maintaining our position here. I'm actually going to start to drop a little bit. But those cars were really fast. And I'm sure... Uh, Custer and Reddick are going to get by me here eventually as well. So, yeah, we're just going to... Th this is exactly where I was wanting to run, and I'm totally fine with that. Ryan Sieg is leading. That is strange. Holy shit, Tyler Reddick. <laughs> you know, I didn't see him in, like, two, what was it? Uh, I didn't see him in 26, but all of a sudden, yeah, here he is. I, did, I said it wouldn't take him long, and I was right. Cole Custer shouldn't be too far back either. I think I see him back there. I think. There's just a jumble of cars up here. Somebody's just holding up all the lanes. Which is good for us. Now we just gotta see what, like, what lap it'll take for a car to start kicking in and start doing stuff and gaining positions. So, I don't know. Maybe, I'm, I'm gonna say lap 8. I may just start kicking in right now because we're getting by Mike Harmon and Chastain as well. And it, it sucks that I kind of have to have that sort of setting because... Even with the, the less wear and more grip, it still burns tires off pretty well. So it's it gets, it's hard to even get that right balance, because even if I had on normal, my tires would be burning so much so much worse than this even. So I don't know. Like that's, that's just the thing. It's just it's hard to find that right balance. But I think once we have enough speed, like once I put that engine upgrade to 90. And then we have 90 engine, then I think we could probably start to put the third tire where to normal and things so we a little bit more evened out than what it is now. Something like that. But even at the moment, we're running only 18th. I mean, it's not like we're, you know, cutting through the field, getting in the top 10, but there's still, like, those weird chances where 
uh, like if we get like a perfectly timed caution and we just take four tires and they even just take rights, we have such a tire advantage on them because we gain a lot of spots and it kind of breaks the game a little bit. And I just downshift. That was embarrassing, but I'll take 18 from the stage. That's fine with me. Ryan C just won the stage. He dominated though. Like he absolutely pulled away and we'll get 18. But yeah, we're going to pit here and hopefully we don't lose too much spots. The next stage should be just about the same. We more than likely would drop back to like 24th and then kind of slowly work our way up. So that's what to expect, I guess. All right, 20th, that's fine. That's fine. We we know Cole Custer is gonna gain some spots and he's gonna drive right by me. So it's probably for the best that he, you know, to the main side and just goes, goes ahead and up there. Um, it's funny, both him and Reddick have equally kind of caught up or moved up to the field about the same time, somewhat. Yeah, we'll just see what we can do in this stage. Again, it's 10 laps. It seems like it's going to take us about 7 laps to really get up to speed and start doing stuff. But, yeah, we're going to probably drive back to 24th, I would imagine. Just let Grosh Chastain have his fun in the sun. Oh, did Kazgrel, do you want it too? I... Alright. Get... Oh god, that's four wide! <gasps> okay, are we good yet? Can we relax? I think so. That was scary. I mean, that that was a... That was a, a hell... A hell... Hell Mary, Hail Mary send. I, I can't speak. We're slowly moving our way up to the field. This is just before the tire wear starts kicking in, so it does seem like even on actual, just normal pace of sorts, we're about like 24th. So, I'm fine with that. That's, I totally understand that. Man, I, I mean, Auto Club, I mean, if you saw Windows video, I was going to leave a comment saying about this, but I, I definitely want to leave a comment saying, compared to last year's, like, Heat 3, Xfinity race, Auto Club, it was such a disaster. He was like 15 seconds off of Morgan Shepard and Mike Harmon. And then in that race, he was actually pretty good. Somebody's blown up! Oh god, that's stacked up everybody. What the? What did. What, 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 god damn it! Thank you, John Hunter, for stacking the field up. I appreciate it. But oh god, they're. Oh, wow, somebody was on two wheels back there! Post editor, what if. Can you please zoom in on that moment? Because that was. I don't know how he did it, but that was that was that was truly incredible. White flag in the stage. We're starting to gain back those spots again. We kind of had such a just shitty hand with that stage being on the outside and being four wide, almost getting put in the wall. So we just lost a lot of time. So again, last stage should be I don't know how many laps, maybe like 25, 26 laps, something like that. So we'll have to pit, and, it, and if we have a long green flag run. We're not only going to have a better long run car, but also lap traffic potentially could play a factor, which therefore will make it easier for ourselves. So we might drop to 20 seconds because we have to repair damage because, you know, um, I hit the wall or AI contact when <laughs> Sean Hunter died. Yeah, I was right. Brandon Jones lost 12 spots. What happened to him? I'm very interested in why he lost so many spots. Okay, 26 laps. Well... 25, whatever. We're out of the pit once, anyways. So, um, we're on the outside again, which kind of sucks. So, I don't know. But, again, give it like eight or nine laps. The car basically comes alive and we can start doing stuff, which is right around halfway through our fuel run, and then we can start doing stuff. So, we just kind of have to wait it out pretty much. Literally, like, the best way to finish well is just have the universe align. I've already established that many times before, but. That's uh, what we have to kind of expect here. So like usual, um, but okay, well, something was very unusual there for a split second as, who's was in 15? Steven Light? No, uh, Joe Nemich? No, uh, who's in 15 this year? I don't know, but that's very unusual. <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of stuck in 23rd a little bit. I mean, we're getting spots here and there. We're kind of holding our own, but we just got to give it a couple more laps and then we can start gaining extra more spots so just a waiting game at this point again well also it helps too when the ai take the high side line and lose all their speed so that helps which is the thing they do a lot at certain tracks like they just use the outside lane and it doesn't work and then you gain spots that way that's weird all right so we're catching up to the field we're almost going to crack inside the top 20 and try to use the outside lane here and get around mike Harmon. And it looks like we're going to be able to do that as well as uh, Vinny Miller up here. But yeah, we're... I don't like... Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. 
Again, we're still losing time to leader, and they're going to be catching lap traffic here sooner or later. I'm just kind of trying to, I'm just trying to think, like, what can I do when I pit? Because the lefts aren't nearly as worn as the rights normally. So we could probably get away with just taking rights and just kind of uh, limping to the line, I guess. I just don't know what the other AI are going to do. I don't know if they're going to just take four tires as well or or what. I, I don't know. I would imagine so, but I'm afraid to take that chance. Also, the comment section is going to probably rip me apart if I don't, so I'm just going to just, just take rights and blade safe. Damn, I'm shocked. The car is really uh, gaining some time here. We're almost going to crack inside a top 15. I don't know about that. So we got six more laps in the fuel. I don't know when these guys are going to pit, but... Yeah, they're just starting to catch lap traffic, so I don't know if that's going to really change that much in terms of uh, for ourselves. I mean, we're kind of too far back to really worry about it just yet. But it could. I don't know. It could. I feel very weird passing cars like this. So I think uh, my idea of once we get that engine upgrade to 90, then I'll probably switch it to normal. I think that is probably the best idea. Because, I mean, we're already kind of seeing it now. We're getting just a lot of spots. We're still losing time to the leaders still. But, man, we're just... Like, after a while, it just it just gets so much quicker than them, and it just doesn't really feel earned. It just doesn't feel right. And I, I guess that's the thing. Like, I, I guess it's cool that I'm doing well, but I don't think I should be doing this well, just based on the ratings I have. Like, I should be running right around 19th to 24th, I think. Again, we don't even have anything at 85 across the board yet, so... Even... I, I think right around there is, is fair, but we're just doing a little bit too well, so... I definitely will be doing that at some point. So I'm glad I, I'm glad with that decision. I, I'm I, I'm looking forward to when that eventually happens and seeing if that helps. Which I think it will because we're doing pretty good right now. We got people pitting this lap. I will do the same. We're obviously on one on fuel. We're just going to take four tires because our laps are still pretty worn. I was actually going way slow there, so that's okay. So four tires fuel will be out in the way. I'm hoping the AIs do the, the same thing. If not, we may have a, a, a game. But again, we still have like, like 10, 9 laps to go, so it should still be good. Let's just see how it plays out. 15.6. That's um, <laughs> And we have to stop for Austin Sindrick, really? All right, well, we're out in the way. We're 20th now. Again, everybody else should be down pit road. I don't know where we're going to cycle out, honestly. Again, we're pretty crap for a big chunk of this run, or at least half of the run, so... I don't know. I have no idea. Again, that pit was stop was... I'm slow. Usually we get around like 14.8 or 13 something. That's like the best I've seen in the truck series. So I don't know. We'll see where this all cycles out. As we have now unlapped ourselves, which is cool. And it does seem like everybody took, did take four tires. We're 13th. We're actually to gain spots on pit road. Holy crap. Oh my. I'll take it. I'll, I'll gladly take it. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to lose spots, but it was a net gain. Well, maybe because I undercut the field, but yeah, we gained spots. We got Elliot Sadler out of pit road. I think that's the last of... No, he's 37, so never mind. But yeah, <laughs> Greg Galdi drove right by me. I, I couldn't do anything about that. I think Jeffrey will be doing the same again. I, I would imagine us kind of losing some spots here because we just aren't that quick. So, I wouldn't be shocked. But this is still a strong top 15 finish. I'll take it. I was not expecting it. My flag for Justin Haley. <laughs> and we're almost half a lap down. And Noah Gregson is getting held up big time by some lap traffic, so... That's good. It looks like we will be getting 13th, and it, this race will end no matter what. And he's getting held up big time, so yeah, we should be good. I mean, I appreciate the game having green flag runs at times. I really do. It means a lot. Thank you for not scripting things all the time. And Justin Haley just won this race. Dominated it. Looked like. I don't know if he just sailed out in front of everybody that well or what, but. What a day. And we'll bring home a solid finish. I, I'm totally fine with that. 13th. I, what can I say? That was a very solid run. A little scary there in like stage two when we were like three wide and everything, but all things considered, I really couldn't ask for a smoother like race. Well, okay, that answers my question. So VJ McLeod was the one that was leading at one point. And Tyler Reddick and Cole Custer started last, basically, and worked their way up into the top five. There's our top ten. And I don't know how many cars are on the lead lap, but definitely a good chunk got lapped. Crosser built 21st. What? He has, like, some bad pit strategy or something, because that's, that's weird. Yeah, uh, 15 cars got lapped down, at least. So, All right, well, let's uh, go back to the shop. But first, got to look at our race earnings. And not bad. That's over 82,000, roughly. 84. That was nice. I'll take it. 
I think our race wear and tear stuff should be pretty good. I don't really think we hit anybody. Oh, I guess we did moderate driving. Oh yeah, when we hit the right silo. Okay, never mind. I remember where that came from. We'll see what messages we get. Uh, Whole time favorite driver. No, we're not going on your boat, John Hunter. You're the one that blew the tire and kind of messed my car up. So that was that kind of pissed me off. And no, we're not going grilling in long games later, Tyler Reddick. Can you stop? Mike Harmon, I didn't take you out. But then again, I don't want to get my ass beat at Applebee's, so I don't, I don't want to do that. Well, um, we got next week on our hands, and I think it's Charlotte? I think? Yeah, I was right! Yay! <laughs> but, yeah, well, we'll go on to the next part. We do have some money built up again. We're about halfway there to getting that air upgrade, so... 450000 for that, good lord. But yeah, we're getting there. We're getting stuff good, and that was a solid run. I, I it, was, it was great. We got our work plan started, so we'll have pretty much everything good to go for when we go to Iowa, but a lot of speedways on the schedule. So that's probably the next thing we'll have to get is just another speedway chassis. But then again, we do have a good chunk of road courses too, but not as much as speedways. So I think speedways will probably be our top priority compared to that, unfortunately. But yeah, that's a lot. 1.2 million. I'm sure the other two are going to be even higher. So that's just, oh my god. Oh boy, yeah, it's going to definitely take two seasons to just get our stuff good enough to win a title, I think. This first season is going to be just more of just building stuff up for the next season. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dow Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave of Hunter Champ 15, Alan Gray, Robert Dillon, NASCAR and and Bailey Carrier for a donation again. I can't say enough how much I appreciate you guys each and every single month for your continued support. It just always means a lot, and I'm always very appreciative and just super duper thankful for the support. I'll see you all next part for uh, Charlotte and Pocono. Oof. Oh, I don't know. I don't like Pocono in this game. It hurts my soul. But yeah, well, uh, actually, I should actually show you the, the point standing. So we're 13th, but because of our win, we are actually seventh in the standings and we have a couple of cars that don't have a win but i'm almost positive uh custer reddick Cindric will likely get a win at some point but that shouldn't hurt us too much well i mean it'll drop us back to like 10th but we still got a couple of more like spots to hold things up but again uh, except for chris okay chris rebel and briscoe have two wins but everybody else has one win <laughs> so yeah very interesting season so far i don't know how it's all gonna shake out i don't really think i'm gonna do much in the chase even so if i don't make it that, I kind of expected that. If I do, that's cool, but I just don't see us really doing that. So. Either way, uh, that'll do it for us in this part. I'll see you all in the next one. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.